Exam Scholar, Real Estate Edition. Question 1. When there is more than one borrower on a note, the obligation to pay the balance is the responsibility. A. Jointly. B. Severally. C. Jointly and severally. D. Individually. Answer. C. All of the borrowers on a note are obligated and responsible to pay the loan amount both jointly and severally. Severally means individually. Question 2. If a potential buyer sees a home that he or she likes but decides not to buy it because it seems overpriced, this would likely be based on the principle of A. Price B. Conformity C. Substitution D. Abendum Answer C. The principle of substitution is the idea that there is an equally desirable property at a much lower price. In this case, the buyer is exemplifying this principle. Question 3. What happens when an agent slash broker misrepresents the principle? A. Rescission or civil court action. B. Criminal penalties. C. Apologies but no legal action. D. None of these. Answer. A. If an agent slash broker misrepresents the principal in the sale, there should be a rescission or civil court action for damages. Question 4. If a buyer assumes an existing loan, the buyer also accepts what on the loan. A. Risk. B. Liability. C. Performance of contract. D. Insurance. Answer. B. In this case, if a buyer assumes an existing loan the buyer also accepts liability on that loan. Of the given choices, this is most correct. Question 5. The party that accepts the endorsed note from the original payee without knowledge of any defects is known as A. Endorsee B. Endorser C. Holder in due course D. Truster Answer C. The party that accepts the endorsed note from the original payee without knowledge of any defects is known as the holder in due course. Question 6. Most trust deeds contain several clauses of A. Indeterminacy B. Acceleration C. Habendum D. Due process Answer B. Acceleration means that if a buyer cannot make payments on a note, the lender has the right to declare the entire sum due and payable immediately. Most trust deeds contain several clauses related to acceleration. Question 7. The surface of the earth and the material beneath the surface of the earth is part of the A. Real property B. Water rights C. Section D. Geolocation Answer A. Parts of real property include the surface of the earth and the material beneath the surface of the earth. Question 8. Airways above a property are A. Public domain B. Owned by the property owner C. Owned by the owner up to 500 feet D. Owned by the owner up to 1,000 feet Answer. A. Airways above property are now considered to be public domain. Use is granted to an owner to a reasonable height. Question 9. If a buyer defaults on a loan and the lender declares the note to become due and payable immediately, this would best be described as A. An exculpatory clause. B. An habendum clause. C. An acceleration clause. D. 
and momentum clause? Answer. C. This is a classic example of an acceleration clause. Question 10. If demand remains constant while supply increases, which is most likely to happen in regards to prices? A. They will increase. B. They will remain the same. C. They will decrease. D. None of these. Answer. C. Typically when demand remains constant but supply increases, competition will increase and competitors will lower prices to outbid one another. Exam Scholar, Real Estate Edition.